Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we did was we practiced all kinds of problems using strategies that we already learned. So I'm just going to run a couple, run through a couple of different problems just so you get an idea of the things that uh, can happen and how to solve these types of problems. All right, so we have Mallory. She's on a budget, and she wants to find out what is the better cereal box to buy. We have one box. It's a 10-ounce box for $2.79. And the other box, it's a 13-ounce box, and it costs $3.99. And we're looking for the rate here. The rate is going to allow us to determine which is the better buy. By rate, I mean, I'm talking about how much is it per ounce. So I'm going to build two charts. Here's one chart. Here's the 10-ounce box of cereal. And over here will be the 13-ounce box of cereal. And I can put my ounces here and my dollar amount here. My ounce is here, my dollar amount over here. And so we have a 10-ounce box for $2.79. And on this side, I have a 13-ounce box for $3.99. Okay, ooh, 13-ounce box, sorry. Get rid of that. 13-ounce box. Now, in order for me to find my rate, I want what is the price for one ounce? Because once I find that, I can find out the better deal. And over here is this to divide by 10. What do I do to 10 to get 1? I divide by 10. So I'm going to do the same thing for that total price. I'll divide that by 10. And over here is a divide by 13. And so I'm going to do the same thing on this side for this one. Okay? I'm noticing I'm dividing by 10, which means everything's going to lose a place value. So a 2 in the 1s will wind up in the 10th place and so on. And I'll wind up with 0.279, which rounds, of course, to an even, not an even, but uh, 28 cents, rounds to 28 cents. There it is. So it's 28 cents per ounce. Here's my rate, 28 cents per ounce. Okay. Now on the other side, I'm going to divide by 13. There's my 13. Here's my 399. Okay. So 13 goes into uh, three in the ones place, zero times. 39 tenths will go three times for 39 tenths. Okay, I get nothing. I bring down that 9 in the hundreds place. Okay. 9 hundredths. Looks like thousandths. Should be hundredths. There it is. And that'll go 0 times to 0. So I wind up with 9 hundredths again, but I'm going to, because 13 doesn't go into 9 hundredths, I'm going to make it 90 thousandths. Okay, and that's going to go uh, about seven times, six or seven times. Let's just say it goes six times, and I already have my answer. Now that I know this is a six, this will round to 31 cents, okay? There you have it. So for this rate, we're talking about 31 cents per ounce for the 13-ounce box, and $0.28 cents per ounce for the 10-ounce box. So it looks like the 10-ounce box is a better deal. And it says, what is the, oh, which box of cereal should uh, Mallory buy? She should definitely buy the 10-ounce box of cereal because it's $0.28 cents per ounce versus $0.31 cents per ounce. And what is the difference between the two unit prices? Well, if I take my $0.31 cents and I subtract my $0.28, cents, I get three cents. So there is the difference between the two prices. Okay? So that's the kind of thing we did today. Let's see if I have enough time to work another problem. Let's see if there's another one here that I'm kind of liking a little bit. Let's see. So let's see. Ooh, this one looks good. How about number five? A table shows the amount of calories Mike burns as he runs. So since my name is Mike and I run a little bit, let's do this one here. So I'm looking for the missing missing piece here. Now, a couple ways I could do this, actually. Oh, I like this problem. We're looking for this value right here. How many calories does he burn in nine hours? I'm noticing after three hours, I burn 360 calories. After six hours, I burn 720 calories. Now, if I run six hours and three hours and I put those together, doesn't that mean I've now run nine hours? Uh, yes, actually, absolutely, that's absolutely true. Well, if I burn 360 calories for the first three hours, then I burn 720 for six hours, 
um, um, I believe it's true, I should just simply add up those calories and that'll equal what I did for nine hours. So if I take my 720 and I add my 360, I have this, I have this, I have that, and now I'm feeling pretty good. So that's one way of uh, solving that particular problem. Another way, oh, I'm really liking this problem. I can find the value of the unit rate, which means if I'm going to add, let me do a table. Okay, let's run a little table here. So if I have, uh, let's see, miles and calories. So if I ran three miles and I have 360 calories and I want to find that, that unit value, that rate, how many uh, calories per mile kind of thing. This looks like a divide by three. This looks like a divide by three, which means three into 360, there's a division problem. That's a one, that's a two, that's a zero. This means I'm burning calories at a rate, at a rate of 120 calories per mile. Right, I think it's per mile, right? Now, if I want nine miles worth, okay, let me expand this down a little bit here. I want nine miles worth. Now I want this value, okay? Which means I'm going to take that one, I'm going to multiply by nine, which means I'm taking 120. And I'm going to multiply that by nine. So if I take the 120 by nine, there's a zero, there's an 18. Nine times one equals nine, plus one equals 10. There's 1,000. 80 calories that way. So that's two ways to solve, to solve the same problem. Okay? So all kinds of fun, fun little things going on here. And uh, that's the deal. Okay, folks? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.